Good morning, everyone. I am Maurizio Brivio. I head the lab of comparative immunology and parasitology at the University of Insubria in Varese, Italy. The main topic of my lab is to deepen the knowledge of the interactions between pathogenic organisms or bacteria and their insect target. The following presentation relates to a laboratory study on the effects of two entomopathogenic bacteria on Drosophila suzuki larvae. The biological model under investigation in our current studies is Drosophila suzuki, also known as spotted wing Drosophila. This suzuki is a small dipteran native to Southeast Asia propagated to the Americas and Europe in the past decade. This insect infects thin-skinned fluids, such as berries and cherries, during the ripening stage. Infection occurs when fertilized female lay the eggs in the fluid pulp, where the larvae grow and feed, drastically damaging the crop. Regarding the life cycle of this dipteran, the fertilized female lay eggs by means of an ovipositor, and the etching larvae use the fruit for feeding. Eggs hatch in 12 to 72 hours, and the three larval insters progress to the pupa stage in about 5 to 7 days. Finally, pupa become adults in 4 to 15 days. However, the extent of the life cycle is related to the environmental condition and nutrient supply. The control of the diffusion of this pest is carried out with various methods based on different strategies, but the use of pesticides is still extremely common. In addition to synthetic compounds with insecticidal activity, other methods less invasive for the environment have been tentatively applied, among them physical barriers, pheromone traps, natural substances with deterrent action, insecticide of natural origin and, of course, biological insecticides. With this communication, we present preliminary data obtained from the application of biological control methods based on the use of microbial bioinsecticides. In particular, we are developing a, a protocol based on the combination of the Sylvesteringensis with Xenorhabdus nematophila, the symbionts of the entomopathogenic nematodes Stenorema carpocapsae, or BT with the secondary metabolites, heat test secretion of the Xenorhabdus. The efficacy of the administration, which was done orally on agar traps, was verified by detecting the mortality rate of the larva at different post-treatment times. In addition, we verified the effects of bacillus thuringiensis on the gut of the dipteran larva. All the treatments were performed by enteral administration on agar supplemented with sucrose. Early Easter larvae were placed on agar sucrose in a petri dish to which the bacterial bioinsecticides were added as a single or in combination. Mortality rates and effects on the larva gut were evaluated at various times. Briefly, regarding the action of Bacillus thuringiensis, after its oral uptake, the toxins produced by the spores of this bacteria interact with the epithelial cell membrane receptors in the gut of the host. These toxins, belonging to the cryocyte families, damage the epithelium, alter its permeability, and form pores that open a way forward into the hemocellic cavity. The other bioinsecticide used in this study is the symbiotic bacterium of the entomopathogenic nematode Stenonema carpocapsi. And Senerema, once penetrated the, the hemocellic cavity of the target insect, implements its immune evasive and depressive strategies in the early stage of infection, but later releases its symbionts, localized in a specific intestinal vesicle. Xenorhabdus symbionts thus contribute to the lethal effects of the bioinsecticides 
by means of their secondary metabolites that play a key role in the death of the host. So, to test the efficacy of Xenorabs as bioinsecticides against Drosophila Suzuki, we isolated symbionts from the nematode and cultured them in a suitable medium. In addition, we collected secretion from the bacterium, which were then analyzed by SDS page to obtain the protein pattern. The bioinsecticide, it has uh, Bacillus and Xenorabdus, when tested individually on L1, L2 instars of Drosophila larvae, lead to a moderate mortality rate at treatment times longer than 32 hours, while Xenorabdus secretions show a lower effect even at long times after administration. Given that the results obtained with single treatments were not enough satisfactory, we tested the combined administration with Bt plus XN and Bt plus XN secretions. The data obtained showed that the combination of Bt plus XN induced a mortality of about 70%, 32 hours post-treatment. Moreover, the administration of Bt plus XN secretion already at 32 hours leads to a mortality of more than 99%, and at 48 hours induced the total mortality of the treated larvae. We also investigated for possible interference between the two bacteria, and in particular if the mutual secretion affected their growth. We then cultured Bt in the presence of XN secretion and XN in the presence of Bt secretions. The obtained data highlighted that Bt secretion did not affect the growth of XN symbiont, while when Bt was cultured with XN secretion, a significant reduction in the growth was observed. In order to explain the increase in efficacy observed by combined administrations, we analyzed the morphology of the gut of the larva of Drosophila Suzuki. The anatomy of the apparatus of healthy larvae was observed using two tracers such as erythrozyne and Twitch dextran. The current morphology of the gut can be observed in figures A and B. As can be seen, the integrity of the whole organ is preserved and shows no evident alterations. On the other hand, figure C shows the damage caused by BT treatment at 12 hours. Evident injuries of the intestinal wall can be observed thanks to the fluorescence of the ingested trich dextran. Then we tested whether the damage caused by Bt toxin could promote the spread of pathogens into the hemocellic cavity of the insect. In figure 8, it's observable the distribution in the intestinal area of GFP expressing XN. And three hours after treatment, no diffusion into the hemocellic cavity was observed. By administration of, uh, of XN together with T, no diffusion was observed in the first hours after treatment, but at 12 hours is evident the spread of Xenorabdus in the wall hemocell cavity of the Drosophila larvae. In conclusion, we can summarize that single administration of being set aside to the first and second stage larvae of Drosophila Suzuki shows efficacy by inducing discrete mortality rates, but only at times of 48 hours. Combined administration of Bt with XN or with the secondary metabolites of XN significantly increases the efficacy of the treatment. The damage to the intestinal wall of the host induced by bitter ingensis toxins could promote the spreading of the second bioinsecticide administered. 
into the atmospheric cavity of the host, amplifying the lethal effects of the treatment, particularly in addition to the increased mortality rate, the reduction in treatment time seem to be promising for a future application of these procedures in the field. Hoping that the topic was of interest to you, I have concluded. Thank you for your attention.